New camera! How do y'all like the new camera? Haha. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I made a video about this ThinkPad, and ever since I made that video, a lot of you want me to put Linux on this. Now, believe it or not, I actually like the idea of switching to Linux. It's efficient, it's very good on battery life, and it's not loaded with garbage, useless AI features. And the reason why I know that is because I've had Ubuntu Linux twice on this laptop already. And then a couple months later, I decided to fire up that installation again, put the Ubuntu SSD back in, and see if I could install DaVinci Resolve on this. All right, I put a Ubuntu Linux back on this. I'm gonna try and get DaVinci Resolve on it. All right, so um, DaVinci Resolve has been installed. See if it even works. I swear to God, if it doesn't work. So I just thought, huh, maybe DaVinci Resolve won't open if I have integrated Intel UHD graphics. That's also kind of weird too, because it opens perfectly fine when I'm on Windows. So I just figured, if I'm going to switch to Linux, I need DaVinci Resolve to work because I use it all the time. I have it open on my screen right now. I use it to edit a two to three minute video every single weekday for the school show that I edit for. It's all done on that laptop. I wanted to try a different Linux distribution and I've heard of this operating system called Zorn OS, which has become a very popular Windows alternative over the past few months with apparently over a million downloads, which is pretty cool. So I wanted to try Zorn OS and I decided to try and install it on my i7-2600 build. Alright, so Zorin OS actually booted on this i7-2600, but it didn't boot on this x 58 Xeon. Brave web browser actually works. And I'm pretty surprised because the only internet that this computer has is from this wonderful TP-Link. And what's interesting about this is that, look at this, it's got this uh, thing on the top, just like how Windows 11 does it, and it does this which is very nice. I really hope that you can turn off that feature though because I don't actually like it. Pretty interesting that it actually does have that feature. It does have applications that allow you to run Windows applications right on Zorin OS on Linux. The way this settings thing works, it's just like Windows. Like this, you, you can just figure out how that works. That is very good. So then I decided to install OBS Studio on it so that I could record videos on it. This is a test recording. I'm now recording with OBS Studio on Zorin OS. The video that I just recorded will not play. Um, I really don't know what I'm recording with. I'm gonna try and set it to my usual settings. Okay, it doesn't want to show up again. This is another recording test. This doesn't even want to work. Oh, what do I do? I just installed a VLC media player. This actually works. Oh wait, I just remembered. I didn't actually install it. This is running off the f live session on the USB drive. And when I restart, all of this will be gone. Oh, what? What? Okay, that's a weird error that I just caught. Seems like it's still working. Jelly mode. That's cool, I like that. I'm gonna leave that on. All right, this is a mic test. It should hopefully work. Now the thing about DaVinci Resolve is that it only supports CentOS, and CentOS is a very outdated and old version of Linux. Now there is a way that you could actually get DaVinci Resolve on these Debian-based operating systems, and that is by literally taking the installation of the application and recompiling it into a .debian file that you can actually install. Alright, I tried this before and it didn't work, so let's see if it works on this hardware. Let's see if it's different, so let's go how to install DaVinci Resolve. A hero in this story is this person, Daniel. Make Resolve Deb. So it says DaVinci LS. Just extract here. So I know I should transfer this entire thing. I should copy this so I can put it probably home. Okay, go here. Oh, huh, that's how that works. Okay, folder. DaVinci, and then I can probably paste it here. So now when I go here and open in terminal, it's going to be the exact same. So I'm going to go ls, and it's going to list the two things that are in there. So step one is pretty simple. We're just going to unzip the uh, DaVinci Resolve zip file. Uncompress his script. Copy that. ZXCF, ZXVF. Make sure you have the fake root package installed. So it did install new things, you can see here. Running make resolve dep and giving it the uncompressed DaVinci Resolve file. And that's it.
If it doesn't open, I'm actually just going to be so disappointed. What's going on here? So now let's find DaVinci Resolve. Let's see if it opens up. Come on, please. Where is DaVinci Resolve? Oh no, is it not going to work? No, oh, nothing. So I did decide to try installing DaVinci Resolve on Zorin OS again, but it didn't really work. And I wanted to try installing it with the AMD GPU drivers instead. So I went through the entire process just to realize that Zorin OS apparently doesn't support the drivers. It says OS not supported for some reason. <sighs> I have a feeling this is going to take a f long time. So instead I wanted to actually try Ubuntu because of the much wider support. Alright, I'm trying to boot off a live session on my main computer of, Lin of Ubuntu Linux, but for some reason my mouse doesn't want to work. And also, I'm not sure if you can see that, but my freaking monitor is flickering like crazy. Now that I'm on the 2600 build, my mouse works perfectly fine, it's not flickering. I genuinely don't know why this doesn't work properly, but this much older computer does. But you can see, now I'm just gonna get OBS installed in this live session, and I'm just gonna see if I can get Resolve installed on this. So I went through that entire process just to realize that I forgot to install the actual operating system, so I ended up accidentally installing everything onto the live session. Okay, as it was extracting, I ran out of space on this stupid tiny USB drive. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to sacrifice my Zorin OS installation. I didn't actually have to sacrifice anything because the Linux installation has a little option that you can click, which allows you to install two operating systems on one drive, which is super cool. All right, I have installed Ubuntu on the same drive that Zorin OS was on. You can see I'm now on Ubuntu and I'm gonna try and install DaVinci Resolve on this now. I really, really hope that this works. Let's do this for the final time and let's hope to God that, that it works. Um, let's go. Resolve. Let's just see all info. So that brings us to today. What happened? Well, I still haven't been able to get DaVinci Resolve on Linux. And I actually saw Switch and Click upload a video of her testing out the ThinkPad T480 and she had this to say about DaVinci Resolve on Linux. What about video editing? After about 30 minutes of troubleshooting how to install DaVinci Resolve on Linux Mint, I finally did it. I finally did it only to realize that Resolve does not work without a discrete GPU. Apparently it's not even possible using my current hardware configuration. And I couldn't even get it installed on my computer with an AMD graphics card. So when I went to my vacation, you could see I was on earlier. I was editing this video on my laptop in DaVinci Resolve and it was running Windows 11. But it's only a matter of time before I learn Linux good enough so that I'll actually be able to switch to it. So yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Also, do you like the new camera quality? I mean, I've had this camera for like two and a half years already. If you want me to make a part three where I hack and tosh this computer, get this video to 500 likes and we'll see if I can do it. So uh, yeah.